What's up, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy, Kid, back at it again. Hope everyone is doing great. Shout out to Josh B for this suggestion. We're going to be checking out some more uh, Catcher Tate. Uh, let's get it, boys and girls. Is that you, darling? Hiya, man. Oh, sweetheart, thank God for that. Are you okay? I came as soon as I got your message. Oh, you are a good boy. How are you feeling? I'm all right, love. Yeah, I'll be all right. Just a bit of a shock, that's all. Yeah. When did it happen? Just after one o'clock. Been sat here not knowing what to do since then. I got here as soon as I could, Nan. No, don't worry, darling. You weren't to know something like this was going to happen. How could anybody know? We all take these things for granted, and then one day, bang, uh -oh. that's your lot. Yeah. Is it just ITV you can't get? <laughs> No, love, it's all of them. <laughs> I've been sat here in silence for the last three and a half hours. Have you missed many of your programmes? Oh, you know me, love, I don't really take much notice. <laughs> it's just nice to have on in the background for a bit of company, that's all, you know. Yeah. Although I suppose I'll never know what happened to Tanisha. <laughs> Who's Tanisha? Girl on that Trisha this morning, did you see it? No. Oh, it's unbelievable. She's getting the fat sucked out of her thigh and injected into her backside. Only a young girl she was. I thought they got it the wrong way round at first, but no. She wants to have a bigger ass than she's already got. <laughs> and if you ask me, it was a fair size to start with. Ooh. You could show fucking cartoons on it. <laughs> I've got someone coming over to have a look at the telly. He should be here soon. And I've missed me lovely gay boy who takes you to an auction and sells all your old shit you were gonna throw out. <laughs> oh, he's clever. It might just be the fuse. Oh, that'll be Danny. Danny who? Oh, Nan, don't start. Danny Shaw. I don't know no one called Shaw. You do? You know his mother, Lou Shaw. She's just come out of hospital. Not Loopy Lou. <laughs> <laughs> don't you dare say that while he's here. She's been very ill. Not loopy fucking Lou, they... <laughs> They've never let her out again, have they? <laughs> Nan, I'm warning you, he's repairing the telly for free, so don't upset him. For free? No, thank you. I don't want no charity. You can tell him to piss off out of it. <laughs> I'd rather sit in the dark. Hello, oh, Mrs Taylor. How are you doing? Hello, sweetheart. How are you? <laughs> I'm not too bad, thanks. Now... Let's have a look at this. Oh, you can take it away, darling. I never really look at it. <laughs> I'll put the kettle on. Did Jamie check the fuse? Oh, don't bother asking him nothing, darling. He ain't got a job. <laughs> now, I'm not going to charge you for the repair, Mrs Taylor, and I don't want any arguing, OK? Oh, you are a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> How's your mum, darling? Oh, yeah. I haven't seen her about for a while. She's OK, thanks. Ah. She's still up the nut house. <laughs> Nan. Uh, Mum went into hospital for a rest, uh, but she's much better now, thanks. Oh, I am pleased, darling, cos last time I saw your mother, she was down on all fours in the dry cleaners, barking like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think you must have her confused with somebody else, Mrs Taylor. Everyone knows your mother. I remember when she got barred out of Tesco's when they caught a pin in the deep freeze. <laughs> <laughs> Off her fucking nut she was. <laughs> Still, I'm very pleased to hear she's feeling better. There you go, Mrs Taylor. It was just the fuse, so I'll be on my way. No, you won't, son. Oh, no. No, you'll take something for your trouble. Now, we've been through this. Uh, 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 uh. No, I won't take your money. Now, be a good boy. It's only a fuse. That's not the point. There's £50. Look, I can't take it. Now, you take it and go and treat your mother to a nice new hat. Well, thank you, Mrs Taylor. You look after yourself. Ah. Thank you, sweetheart. Very obliged to you coming out at such short notice. Truly, I am. What a fucking liberty. <laughs> 50 pound? 50 pound? He won't hear five minutes. <laughs> Ready, little bastard. Man, you offered it to him. He nearly took me fucking hand off. 
<laughs> he was going to do it for free. Mad to me own front room. Dear. Oh, and he was such a lovely little boy and all. I remember he used to come up here wearing his little cowboy outfit. Should have fucking kept it on. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of good you were and all. Stood there worried about what side your hair's parted while I'm getting turned over by a man whose mother eats her own shit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll cross. Oopie, fuck it, Lou! There we are. Oh, here we go. Oh, have a look who it is. Hello, sweetheart. You're Lizzie Jackson's granddaughter, ain't you? Yeah, I used to go to school with your grandmother. Oh, isn't it lovely to see you? I had seen you since you were that big. Ah, oh, I've heard your grandmother ain't too well. She's had her hip done again, ain't you? Will you give her my regards? Tell her I've missed seeing her a bad. It's beautiful to see you, sweetheart. Give me your regards to your grandmother. Hey, oh, be lucky, darling. Who's that? God knows. <laughs> hey, oh, look, what did I tell you? It's packed out. It's not that bad. Oh, there's nothing wrong with half these people. Have a look. Come on, Nan. And look at this one in a running suit. Years ago, you had to be spewing up your guts to see a doctor, and now they turn up in running suits. <laughs> oh, they've got a cheek. Nan, come on. Have you got an appointment? I? Do you have an appointment? No, dear. I'm here to see Dr Bailey. Is it an emergency? Who is it? <laughs> is it an emergency? What's she talking about? <laughs> what is it that's wrong with you? What's it got to do with you? <laughs> what is it that's wrong with her? Aye, aye, aye. I'll thank you to talk to the organ grinder, not the monkey. <laughs> if it's not an emergency, you won't see a doctor today. Next appointment is Thursday at 10 o'clock. We rang this morning and the lady we spoke to... Excuse me. You... I'm talking. Uh-oh. Yes, it is. Yes, it is what? Yes, it is an emergency. What is it that's wrong with you? Me head's hanging off. <laughs> <laughs> we rang this morning and the lady we spoke to said we could see a doctor if we came in before 11. Is it an emergency, she said. I ain't never seen a room full of such healthy-looking people. <laughs> what name is it? Mrs Taylor. If you'd like to take a seat. Oh, well, only if you're sure. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to be pushing in front of Daily Thompson here. <laughs> Come on, sit down. I'll get you a magazine. <sighs> Keith Maywood. <laughs> Keith Maywood. What's up, my man Darren Lynn Lin here? Oh, man. <laughs> Keith Maywood. Keith Murray. Keith Murray with That is so fucking true, man. The doctor would be called like 10 names. Is, you know, the same person. They fucking deaf, man. We're not all there for a free day out. <laughs> um, I'm really sorry, but would you mind keeping the noise down? I suffer from migraines. You do what, darling? I I'm really sorry, but I have terrible migraines. Oh, I am sorry, sweetheart. I feel terrible for you. Truly, I do. Oh, I've had them for years, but they've just really started to... No, no, my darling. Don't feel you've got to explain anything to me. I feel dreadful, really, I do. I wish there was something I could do to help you. Would you like a mint? <laughs> no, honestly, I'll be fine, thanks. I, I just need to see the doctor. Julie Hedges. Oh, that's me. Is that you, darling? Go on, then. Go and see the doctor, sweetheart. He'll sort you out. Ah. Ah. What a fucking liberty! <laughs> She's got headache! <laughs> the woman sat in a doctor's surgery because she's got headache! <laughs> oh, they want shooting, they really do. Nan? Excuse me, would you mind being quiet? You're upsetting the other patient. I'll take a fucking chill pill, you. <laughs> Come on, you. I've had enough of all this. Mrs Taylor? Oh, have you found a window in your diary? Well, it's too late now, love. It's too fucking late, dot co dot uk. <laughs> Green, green grass, lady. Holy shit, we're seeing Mrs. Kingsworthy. Emergencies only. What a load of old shit. <laughs> so true. <laughs> what 
a fucking liberty, boys and girls. Man, I don't care what anybody says. I freaking love her to pieces. She is uh, refreshing as always. Uh, you know, the see, man, you got the, you know, the kid, he comes in. And you feel concerned instantly, right? You know, she's talking. There's a, you know, there's a, there's a mood to her talking. And it's for the fucking TV, man. That shit was hilarious. But you know what? That is a dilemma. That is a masterful dilemma, especially. Uh, I've, I've had a lot of jobs where I dealt with uh, elderly folks uh, constantly. And, uh, you know, I've had to come to their aid to help them out with their technolo uh, technology, right? And... You'll be surprised how simple some problem is. Change the batteries on the remote or, you know, miss the plug on the back or some crap like that. So, you know, people do, you know, rely on others to help out. So uh, I just love when she says, what a fucking Liberty line. That is so good. Um, nice to see. We got some um, uh, familiar faces. Uh, hopefully you guys peep that as well. Um, you know, so that's pretty cool. You know, it ain't the best of quality. I think I, I had it, uh, I think it was like 240 or 480, but it's very uh, blurry for me when uh, it's on full screen. But, uh, you know, hopefully you guys could see it a little bit better than I can. But um, I think that, you know, you could just tell that she is going to talk shit, man. Like, there are some people out there that, you know, they, they talk that smack right there. And then she's, hey, how you doing? Oh, so good to see you. Oh. And I love it. I love it. They'll talk the biggest smack about you behind your back. They, you come around. They're all friendly. That is something that is so damn, you know, common in, in life. So when she does it, she just does it to perfection. And she got freaking robbed, boys and girls. Anybody agree to that? Because she got robbed, man. That guy... 50p man shit man he took he, he was not pretending he was like he wanted that shit so i i think that she got robbed boys and girls and that prick and her you know grandkid he, he do shit he didn't help her out man what's up with that gotta make a tea and some shit in the back man uh so i'm pissed off at him he should have helped her out man but you know what i love it you just can tell the way she is the way you know we've seen dozens of uh, pretty much a couple uh sketches with her and you just know, you can almost sense it that she's going to get ready to, to say some shit. Uh, so both scenes were absolutely uh, phenomenal to me. Uh, I definitely liked the, the doctor scene. Now, when that chick said that she had a migraine, I, this is this is messed up with me, probably. I was hoping she was going to yell some more to mess up her migraine a little bit more. I know that's very mean. I know I should not have said that shit. But, you know, part of me was wishing that she was going to yell just a little bit more like, oh, yeah. What? You know, I'm like, oh man, but that's just my messed up side. Uh, you know, it's it's good fun. You know, Catherine T. Um, I, don't know, I just I just love her character. I love Nan's character. Uh, there, you know, believe it or not, she's her Nan character is very relatable. Uh, you know, into, into life, man. I've seen a lot of characters, a lot of cool characters like this, and uh, she's she's definitely up there. Uh, she definitely brings a smile. Um, her foul mouth is great. Uh, it's refreshing. Um, you know, I, I'm not one to shy from using those words. So, uh, hearing it, uh, you know, from her, you know, older age, I love it. It's it's so good. It's so good. So it's it's my music to my it's music to my ears hearing it. Uh, you know, we joke around and stuff. You know how people have sleeping sounds to you know uh, waterfalls and shit. Give me Nan's voice uh, any day, cursing and shit, and I'll be freaking happy. So guys. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for the suggestions. If you want to see more, you guys know how to do it, right? You got. If you don't know how to do it by now, suggest in the comments down below. That is the best way for me to see it. Um, you know, we try to jot them down as best we can uh, and, and basically bookmark and log down, um, you know, people's suggestions. Uh, uh, and we do get a lot, but just keep on suggestion. Um, and it's the best way to get your, you know, your thing that you want to be reacted to. So again, thank you, Josh. We'll see you next time, everyone. I hope that everyone is doing well. So see you next time. Peace.